What up SOS family, I am back with another video. Quite a few of you guys have been asking me as to why I quit powerlifting. Like Simon, why? Like why must you always quit everything you start? You just keep doing this to us. You're so inconsistent. Guys, I'm not quitting powerlifting forever. Not forever, it's just for now. And it's one of, it's two reasons pretty much behind why I'm not gonna be doing powerlifting in the meantime, okay? Number one, Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the only gym membership that I have right now. For those of you guys who've been lifting for a while, I do not need to explain to you guys. For those of you guys who need explanation, let me explain it real quickly. You cannot powerlift in Planet Fitness. It is a hippie gym, okay? There is no free weights besides the dumbbells and the smaller barbells, okay? That you see a lot of the chicks use to, to squat with, to build their booty. For us, no! Planet Fitness is not the place you want to try to go with powerlift unless you're somebody who wants to use a Smith machine to make your gains. If you could really make gains like that using the Smith machine and powerlifting. That's not my style. When I powerlift, I'm gonna use free weights. If I can't use free weights, I ain't wasting my time. The most important reason as to why I am not powerlifting right now is because it, does just, it just doesn't line up with the goals that I set out for myself. And that was an issue that I've had with my inconsistency when I was on YouTube before. I did not plan anything. So all of my plans were in my head and I became overwhelmed and that really led to a lot of my inconsistency issues. Now for the past three weeks, I've been studying Brian Tracy. He's a success e expert. I'm reading one of his books, Maximum Achievement. And in regards to this situation, the thing that is sticking out to me the most is him saying, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but you guys will get the point of this. First, you wanna lay out the goals that you want to achieve in your life. You're gonna write out a list under those goals as to everything that you need to do to achieve that goal. If you are doing things outside of the things that you listed to achieve that goal, then that means you're not making any progress towards that goal, and therefore you're gonna remain stagnant and stay in the place that you're at. And I don't wanna stay in the place that I'm at anymore. I wanna make it out of the hood. I want to become as successful as I envision myself to be, and I know I will still get there despite this eight month hiatus, but you guys are still here rocking with me, and I really want to share that with you guys. If you guys have a goal or multiple goals that you want to achieve, you want to make sure that freaking every hour of every day or almost every day because you do need a social life you want to balance out your your mentality like you don't want to stress yourself out being a super workaholic uh i digress but pretty much if you have a goal that you want to achieve you want to make sure that every hour of almost every day that you are doing something that's going to help you achieve the goals okay powerlifting for me is not going to help me become the best calisthenics expert in Toronto. It's not gonna help me become a great calisthenics trainer, you know, worldwide, whether it's online or even offline. It's not gonna help me right now. You guys see that it's summertime. Summertime is the best time for calisthenics athletes such as myself. And I want to make sure I'm utilizing that time, the spring, summer, and fall, to be training my calisthenics. Because when winter time comes, that's when I have to start scrambling to find a good gym and it gets so stressful. And that is the time where I'm setting aside to mix calisthenics with powerlifting like I did the first time with powerlifting and calisthenics. Okay, so that is my plan so far. Uh, again, powerlifting is not a passion of mine it's something fun to do and it's nice to make the gains there but it's not something that i really have a goal you know to achieve really high maxes and stuff like that it's just not for me right so again that's pretty much the reason behind it uh, it's not me just quitting because i just quit everything i'm actually trying to just remain focused on one goal something that i'm passionate about and just become excellent at that if i just keep doing multiple different things that i'm not really passionate about it's just gonna, again, I'm gonna end up doing the same thing, probably quitting YouTube for good, and I'm just gonna, no, I don't wanna go through that. So for those of you guys who are still rocking with me with calisthenics, I got so many more calisthenics videos coming back for you guys. I'm going back to the roots of how I started Strength Over Size, okay? I am going back to the tutorials. I'm going back to showing you guys my progress. I'm going back to just helping you guys out the way I was, and I'm gonna try to just balance it out a lot more from, you know, before I was just doing all series type videos like bodybuilding calisthenics or power building with calisthenics or power, like I was just doing so many series, series like type videos and I wasn't focusing on helping you guys anymore, which was what you guys liked the most. Okay, so again, uh, you guys comment down below. 
what you guys would like to see from me besides powerlifting for now uh, and even bodybuilding I'm not really gonna bodybuild right now I decide that my size is good enough for me I'm happy with my size I'm pretty lean I'm a little bit fluffier than I was before like I used to be lean like really lean during my peak my peak my prime days in strength over size now I'm kind of like eh, like I don't know like to me this is I'm bigger it feels good to look like this it does feel good but it's just not how lean I used to be if you guys go back to my other videos but yeah you guys comment down below some topics you would like me to speak on you guys comment down below some type of videos you like me to show a lot of you guys uh, a few of you guys are saying I should still do the 10k challenge damn do I have the appetite for that I don't know but I, I'll still do it I, I, I'm a fitness channel okay I think every fitness channel needs to have their 10k challenge so I'm gonna put one up I'm not gonna say soon I just don't know when I, I I don't know when to be honest whenever I'm ready okay so yeah that is it I hope you're not I hope you're not mad at me all my powerlifting fans uh not even fans I hate saying the word fans my family my powerlifting SOS family I'm sorry I apologize but it's just it's not in my heart anymore it's an X like go back to the X I don't know is it really a good thing to go back to your exes mm, I beg to differ it depends you know but that's the X I'm gonna just keep her to the side, you know, keep powerlifting to the side and focus on my wifey calisthenics. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed as always. I'm out of here. Done.